So yeah, share with our audience, uh, uh, for those folks who aren't familiar with the, the Innovation Center that is Israel, what's going on over there? Why is Israel such a hotbed of innovation? So I think, uh, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that, uh, I think I'd, I'd say two factors uh, that are involved in this. One of, one of it is, uh, I don't want to call it peer pressure, but, but everybody's doing it. So, uh, <laughs> and there's a, there's a generation that's actually uh, replaced by or added on every, I don't know, four years or something. You know, it's, it's uh, generations every four years. So you have, uh, you have many people coming out of the army uh, coming out of the IDF with very, very high-tech units um, in, in various cores, not just the uh, you know, not just the Air Force, not just the, the intelligence, but they come up with a lot of technology even in the Army. And once they come out with that, they have so much knowledge, they have to do something with it. So add to that that so many friends of theirs and, and so many uh, um, people they knew from the Army already have startups, already have established companies, they come out of the army. They, they. Uh, that's kind of a natural. A lot for a lot of them. A lot of us. It's a natural thing to do. Now, does the Israeli army take a piece of the action here? They, uh, they, uh, no, they, it doesn't. They get a little kickback on this. No, no it okay, good. Well, that's good. No, they, it they doesn't put their hands no. in it. That, no. But it's a relative. It up. But 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 there's a, it's a relatively fearless uh, culture in that regard too. It, not afraid to take a risk, right? No, no, no. And and, uh, and and we're used to the fact, for example, that the market is not where we are. So we're used to the fact that it's not easy. You, you have to travel a lot. I mean, you have to, you're asking me about Israel. I always have to remember what Israel is, you know, because I'm uh, half my time here, half my time in Israel. So uh, we're used to that. We're used to the fact that it's never going to be, it's always going to be a challenge. And, and we're not afraid.